Well, um, Stuart, I, a pleasure to see you back out there from yeah, the, the start you. on Tuesday night. How did it feel for you? Yeah, good, yeah. Um, I think it's just going to take a little bit of time just to kind of mentally get a bit quicker and yeah. stuff like that. It's been quite a long time now, hasn't it? It's been I think, about five months, obviously. The last first team competitive game I played, I started in was uh, Plymouth away, yeah. uh, where we kind of... Um, which was a great game. We uh, yeah, unfortunately come out on the end uh, uh, on the bad side of it, but it was a good game and it was lots of it was fast and quick. Yeah. I mean, it'd be nice to get back to that kind of yeah. Yeah. And was it a frustration? And any injury is going to be frustrating, but the fact that it was over the summer, so you, you weren't missing a lot of football. But equally, then you you've got to be training all through the summer. Yeah, a bit of both really. Like you say, like the the, the major up point was that I didn't miss five months of football. Yeah. Uh, but then obviously the the negative is that. Um, you have to keep pushing through and you don't really get a break but I'd rather it be like that than yeah. miss five months of football so uh, yeah so I was pretty lucky really yeah. um, it's frustrating though uh, pre-season that's frustrating because you want to be in and involved obviously uh, new players coming in and, and seeing the old players and, and you want to just be involved from the start you don't want to be coming in late you know what I mean? yeah. and, and certainly for somebody whose physicality is such a big part of your game yeah. as it is with you yeah. and that, that's, how does it feel are you trusting it completely yet? Uh, no, nah, obviously, you no. Know, obviously, um, that's going to take time, and I, I, like, like what everyone says, that you can't really replace minutes. Yeah. If you see what, um, those minutes are real, real important, so uh, it doesn't really matter how much running I do or how fit I am. Those minutes are, uh, is what's going to make me sharper, and I think especially mentally, um, make me sharper. So, yeah. how did it feel though, just being back out? Was yeah, it a big good. Smile? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what it's about, isn't it? That's what. That's what. Um, that's what we come we come every day for. Yeah. So yeah, and, and I'd imagine a doubly frustrating because it's one thing if the team's doing amazingly and you'd be there sort yeah. of cheerleading yeah. for them, but seeing them struggle a little bit, not being able to do anything about it, is uh, is difficult. Yeah, definitely, it makes it. it I think, uh, it definitely makes it easier when you're injured and, and the lads are doing well because you, it, because you the the the, um, the pressure on you to one get back and then the pressure on uh, the lads to perform it all builds yeah. up, doesn't it? Um, it's kind of uh, yeah builds to boiling point. So um, you just you, yeah you just want to be able to affect it. Yeah, and um, that's what's frustrating. And it seemed that Tuesday was a little bit of a step in the right direction. You know, it, it, opposition was different, and it's not the same as League One and all the rest of it. But but there were some good signs there. Yeah, definitely, I thought so. I, I think there have been signs through the season. I, um, but it's been it's been tough, hasn't it? And um, I think for us now, it's about getting some consistency and kind of ticking over and working hard and, and, and doing the right things and I think that then it will come to the all that hard work will come to the forefront um, and keep believing because we have got a good side and we have got good players um, and we just need to keep believing and, and, it, and it will turn yeah. and it's strange how these things happen but you, you're now one of the sort of the more senior members of the squad in terms yeah. of how long you've been here yeah. so there's a lot of new faces that have got to adapt to the, yeah. the Rovers style yeah for sure it's been of course it's it's, it's, a, it's a difficult time for the for the club and probably one of the most difficult times where, when I've been here uh, obviously that first year was was tough especially mm. at the start but um, it's it, I've spoke to many people and they talk about it and it's for the new lads it's it's a new environment they've got to move their families there's lots going on behind the scenes that people don't see so it does take time and and um, and yeah, it's great if you settle in really quick and everything's perfect and yeah. great. But unfortunately, life's not really like <laughs> that. So that's, it, it will take time. But they're good. We we got a good we got a good squad and we got good lads. So yeah, I so, believe in that. I've, well, fingers crossed. And, and it's Coventry this weekend. They're, they've started the season relatively yeah, well. Yeah, it would okay. be nice to get that first league win in front of the home fans, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think the last uh, few games at home. Um, we've been. We probably haven't paid back the fans enough. So I think that that is um, one thing that probably us as a, as a side probably are, are wanting to achieve, and, and that's important. Um, so we need to make sure the the, the irrelevant of the result. We're, we we're constantly pushing hard and, and paying the fans back for for the loyalty and for for their support.